Hi guys, Chris Clayton here with The Pool Guy. Happy Wednesday. Today we're going to pick up where we left off earlier in the week. We did a video on Monday about variable speed for single speed and we did part one about product durability. Today we're doing part two about product functionality. If you like learning about products available to you for your swimming pool and how they can help you enjoy your outdoor living space more, then subscribe below. I will be sharing all kinds of information on pool and spa related products. Okay guys, the second thing we're gonna talk about today is product functionality. So again, I'm gonna start off with the single speed pump. So a single speed pump like this one here, or this one here, these are designed to only run one speed, hence the name single speed pump. That speed is 3,450 RPMs, which is the max speed and the standard speed for pool pumps, okay? Now, if you choose to go to a variable speed pump, the max RPM it will run at, again, is 3,450 RPMs. What separates the functionality side of it is now you can take that and you can dial it back to an RPM that you want to use for different features. Okay, so you might have a side suction or a pressure side uh, vacuum that you run in your pool. You might have a salt system, ozone generator. Um, you might have a waterfall. You might have water bowls. You could have a spillover spa. Um, there's all kinds of different features you may have in your pool, okay? And with a variable speed pump, now you can program your pump to run at an RPM you need when you need it to function those features. So do you need your vacuum running all day long? Probably not, okay? So if you only need to run your vacuum for two hours to clean your pool, you can run your pool pump at the RPM needed to function that vacuum at its best, okay? You may not need to run it at 3450 RPMs to get maximum cleaning out of your pool vacuum. Maybe you do, okay? Also, if you're looking at the air side of it, if you have a chlorine generator, you may need a certain amount of flow for that chlorine generator to come on. So you can program your pump to run that amount of flow for a certain period of time and coordinate it with your chlorine generator so that that's running at the same time and turning on and you're making sure you're getting enough chlorine in your pool, okay? And then let's say you get home from work, you wanna have your water bowls on, you wanna have your spillover spa going, waterfall, whatever it might be, then you can adjust the RPMs and set a time frame for that to run at the RPMs you need for those features to function properly. With a single speed pump, that's all you get. You get that one speed all day long, and it's just a matter of opening and closing the valves um, or adjusting the valves to, you know, get the features adjusted where you need them to be. Um, but with a variable speed pump, not only are you getting the features you need running at the RPM or flow rate that they need, but you are also saving money by reducing the RPMs back from 3450 to something lower, okay? That's all on that subject. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I will be posting the third part to this on Friday. If you have any questions or any concerns about products, or if you wanna know more about other products that are available to you for your swimming pool, whether you're dealing with an issue, having a pool built, and you just wanna know if something's available or how it works with something else, please comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you, have a great day.